currently 6, 17 in the morning. I'm not entirely sure I'm actually awake. I think I might still be sleeping. We are on our way to our most ambitious short. Ambitious. Ambitious. Just like that, we're back from LA. We shot for four days out there for our new short film, but we've only shot half of it. We have the other half to shoot in March. But for this one, we shot a bunch of action with an amazing stunt team. And when we first went out there, the first thing that we did was a tech scout. A tech scout is a technical scout where you go to the location that you already have picked and you go through looking at all the bits that you need to collect to try to find all the things that might be an issue. So you're working out what the special effects are gonna be doing, where they're gonna be, what lights you might need, where you're gonna run power, all of these sorts of things. So you're gonna want you know, your gaffer there, your cinematographer there, your stunt coordinator there. We had uh, our production designer there so we could figure out certain things. Like for instance, as we walked through and figured out the action beats, we realized that we needed to shift some cars around for what I was really wanting to pull off. So one of the things that we knew we had to do was get a forklift out there and move some of these cars around to better suit the way that the scenes progressed over the course of the short film. So that was one of the things that we were able to figure out, including a lot of the stunt stuff of where we were going to put the particular things that were going to end up happening, which I won't talk about yet because the film's not out and I don't want to spoil anything. This was actually the second of two tech scouts that we had. The first tech scout was sort of a location scout slash tech scout combined. So we went out there and we picked a location with my DP there, Chase Smith, and then was able to do sort of a preliminary tech scout on the day as well. Then we came out again right before shoot with all of the rest of the team to go through everything else. But after that, the day before shooting was our camera prep day. This is where your camera team goes to the rental house or whatever it is and goes through all the gear, pieces everything together, builds out the cameras. They make sure everything's working properly and if there's anything else that they need to make sure that we are going to be up and going for the first day of shoot. And on this day, they built out our camera A and B and left it that way. That way on the day they didn't have to do that we could just get going as quickly as possible and as you could see here we did shoot this on the canon c200 with my slr magic lenses and we got two extra sets on this one from the slr magic guys so we could fit out all the cameras and move quickly we had three cameras that were shooting for the most part then on our big stunt moments we had around six or seven cameras because we had a few things that we could only do once then we got into our shoot days which i won't go into detail on because uh, we're going to save that for when the short actually comes out and we're gonna add a bunch of great stuff for you guys to check out but the shoot went really well we had four days total we front loaded those days with all of our stunts because we had a lot of stunts and a lot of gags and for this i really wanted everything to be practical and feel real and harsh so uh, a lot of the stunts were pretty crazy which is why we had multiple cameras uh, but we front loaded all those and then left the last day just to be more performance heavy type stuff so we could whittle down to sort of a splinter crew to get the remainder of what we needed. But I would definitely say that this one is the first real full short that we've done since Proximity where I spent a ton of time really crafting a story that I was excited about. Again, a big part of that emotional thread is going to be shot in March and we'll post more stuff online as we're shooting then and some more production vlogs as well. And we'll keep doing production vlogs. I'll be going out to my editor. I do have an editor for this one. I usually always edit myself, but for this one, I wanted to detach myself a little bit from it so I could see it with more fresh eyes and get a fresh mind in there to see things that I didn't see. And one of my friends has been telling me for a while now that I really need to get an editor and try that out. So I'm doing it with this one and I'm very excited about that. And you'll meet my editor very soon because again, as I go out to do these things like the sound mix and the editing, uh, we'll be doing more production vlogs all along the way. So you guys could be a lot more part of this one than you even usually are. Domain.com has all your website needs, including .com and .net domain names, and intuitive website builders to help you take the first steps in creating an identity online. They're affordable, reliable, and have all the tools you need to get started. You can start sharing your ideas with the world on a professional website. No domain name extension is going to help you tell your story like a .com or .net domain name. And if you want to brand yourself online, Domain.com has over 300 domain name extensions to fit your needs, from .club to .space. And they love you, and to show that love, they're giving you 15% off their already affordable prices when you get domain names, web hosting, and email just use the coupon code FILMRIDE at domain.com's checkout. And when you think domain names, think domain.com. 
logo. But that's it. I don't want to go into more detail because we're going to hold a lot back until we do put the short film out, but we'll give you as much as we can along the way, like I was saying. But maybe we'll tease some more of the BTS after this, or maybe we won't. I'll just leave it up to Josh. So what follows this is completely dependent on what Josh wants to do, which will happen right now. <laughs>